Now that we have the OEM intercooler out of our Mark 8 Golf R, we can talk about some of the differences between the OEM intercooler and the ECS upgraded intercooler. The biggest difference is the volume. The OEM intercooler has 470 cubic inches of core volume, whereas the ECS intercooler has 1,000 cubic inches of internal core volume. Um, that's about a 113% increase in volume. Um, also, the cross-sectional area of the two intercoolers is significant. The ECS intercooler has about 110% more cross-sectional area, so that is the width and the height of the intercooler. The OEM intercooler has about 19 square inches of cross-sectional area, whereas the ECS intercooler has just over 40 square inches of cross-sectional area. Um, the ECS intercooler retains all OEM mounting points and airflow ductwork as well to make it a true OE style upgrade. The ECS intercooler has cast end tanks with machined inlets and outlets. Um, these have a modified geometry to provide better flow over factory. The end caps are then TIG welded on to the intercooler core and pressure tested to three and a half bar for just over 50 PSI of pressure. On the dyno, we used our Mark 8 Golf R. It was equipped with a Unitronic Stage 1 Plus tune, an ECS tuning catback exhaust, and ECS Kohlfauser Luft Technic intake with a big bore turbo inlet pipe. When we added our intercooler to that, we saw a 37 horsepower increase at 3,500 RPM with five foot-pounds of torque increase. You can get your intercooler today. Head on over to ecstuning.com or check the link below.